everybody and welcome back to yet another team of the season play review today we are looking at another silver one actually in Diego Farias if you do enjoy this match you to leave a big thumbs up on it if we can get this over 30 likes again that'll be incredible we've been smashing over 30 likes and every single one of these I've been putting out I mean I have been putting out a lot of play reviews and a sport and every single one has been absolutely outstanding so thank you so so much for that make sure you subscribe as well if you are new to the channel but uh, like I said today we're looking at the silver team of the season Diego Farias starting off with his basic information 5 foot 80 stands out he's got 4 star skill moves and a 2 star weak foot high low work rates and his price points are between 27k and 500k currently on Xbox game for around 100k mark but um this card really comes alive in the in-games, as you'll see now as we start to look at the base card and in-game stats. He's a 74 overall, of course, being a team of the season silver. Uh, he starts off as a cam, but I played him, as many seem to be actually, played him up top because his stats just suit that position. He's got 92 pace, which is absolutely electric. He's got 85 dribbling, 72 shooting, 75 passing, 60 physical and 30 defending. And his top five stats in-game, lads, like I say, incredible. He's got 97 balance, 96 agility, 93 acceleration, 92 sprint speed and 92 jumping as well. And he's also got just missing out on that top five 91 stamina which is also it's standing it's standing sorry uh, he also comes with the uh, speedster acrobat technical dribbler flair and tries to beat the defensive line trait and whenever you've got someone with high low work rates this much pace and the choice to beat the defensive line trait it's always just like a recipe for so many good things to happen particularly at striker obviously but um you can see the team that we used to mean is a full brazilian team a few players that i've not used in there before just giving them a go team did decently well and farias came out with it after five games with eight goals and no assists. Half decent record, not too incredible. But um, as we start to roll the clips now, I'll tell you why. Um, I really, really enjoyed this card in the end. But the first couple of games, I was really struggling with this finishing. I just, I couldn't finish with him whatsoever. I was using the finesse a lot because for me right now, that is what's strong on FIFA, personally, from my experience. But he just hasn't got a great finesse shot. What you want to do with this card, which is what I discovered after a few games, is just ignore the finesse, pretend it doesn't even exist, and just try and pair it in because I had so much more success with that than uh, with when I was uh, finessing the shots. But um, we'll start off talking about this guy's positives. His pace is absolutely electric. And partner that up, like I say, with the fact that he's got such fantastic um, traits and specialities with the choice to be the defensive line and um, his movement as well, which is absolutely fantastic. He just finds himself in on goals so easily. He's just a fantastic, fantastic card for that. His movement, like I said, is fantastic. His dribbling is also absolutely on point because of that fantastic agility and his great balance. But... Um, like I say, his finishing was what let me down. That was a bit of a negative. His finesse shot in particular. I had a lot more success with his regular shooting, if that's what you want to call it, rather than his finesse. But um, the finishing still let me down a little bit. He's also got not got the greatest weak foot, obviously, with it being two-star. And his strength, man, he is so weak. Whenever you're going shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with any defender, Farias, he's just never coming out with the ball. I think he's got, like, 44 strength in-game stats-wise, and you can really feel that at times. But... He's, he's always just hanging off that last defender because of his work rates and everything. And if you can just play the ball in behind, it doesn't even matter because nobody's keeping up with him whatsoever. Because like I say, his pace is just absolutely electric. Overall, lads, we're going to be giving the team of the season, Diego Farias, an 8.4 out of 10. If he'd had a better weak foot and like much better shooting, much better finishing, he would be getting over a 9 because this card is absolutely outstanding. His movement, his pace, he just feels so agile. And like I say, it's just a fantastically fun card to use. But I um, highly recommend you give him a go if you uh, particularly if you pack him. Don't sell him straight off. Definitely give him a go first. And I'd definitely convert him to striker as well because that's definitely what suits his stats. But um, hope you all enjoyed this play review, lads. I will speak to you all with another couple tomorrow, I'm sure. Have a great day. Nidge out. Yo, his Nidge plays with big games and player views are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.